Hello my fellow scratchers, today I am going to tell you about scratch user interface. See, this is the whole scratch screen and it is divided into different sections like toolbar, block palette, script area, stage area and sprite info pane. So let's start at toolbar. This is a language tab where you can choose any language you want. This is a file tab. It has three options. Option U is going to replace this project with a new one. And other options are load from your computer and save to your computer. This is the edit tab. I will tell you about this later. And this is the tutorial tab. We can choose any tutorial you want from the sketches library to get help. Here you can name your project. I am going to name it scratch test. Now here are the three tabs named Code, Costumes and Sounds. I will tell you about these two later. For now I am just going to tell about the Code tab. This is a scripting area where you build your code. And this is a stage area where all of your code runs. And this is called a sprite. I will tell you about this later. For now we are just going to delete it. This green flag is going to run your program while this red button is going to stop your program. This is the block area from where you drag blocks to the scripting area to build your code. And here are the categories which makes easy access for selecting blocks. And here are the zooming in zooming out controls. You might be wondering what are these three buttons. This is going to extend the scripting area and shrink the stage while this is going to extend the stage and shrink the scripting area and this is going to enter full screen control of the stage see now you can only see the stage now I am going to load a project from my computer so we are going to go to file load from your computer we are going to click ok See, our project has been loaded. As you can see, the code runs in the co as you can see the code runs in the scripting area while the result is shown in the stage. Now that's all for today guys. Till next time. Bye.